In this video, I'm going to be demonstrating how I modified my Google Home Mini to have an aux out jack. I've seen some other videos where people disassembled their Google Homes and it was very hard with heat to take the orange off the bottom. So I decided I don't want to do that because I'm going to probably want to get in there again. So I just searched to find where the screws were underneath the orange and then once I had located them I cut a little hole for the screws but it was quite hard to find because it isn't just soft rubber but there's actually a thin layer of plastic between there but with much careful searching I was able to locate them you just get a rough idea by looking at a picture of where they should be and then just feel around till you feel it and then carve away for the screws and that way you don't have to worry about always heating off the adhesive whenever you want to take it apart. And here I used a caliper just to try and get myself right where I needed to be. Just taking out the screws Just pops apart easily there, being careful not to damage the ribbon cable. Now take out some more screws. Now disconnecting the speaker. Now here's where I realized I had two choices. I could either use a headphone jack from an old iPhone, which would be thin enough to fit inside the home, or I could use a bigger headphone jack that wouldn't fit inside, but would be able to disconnect and reconnect the onboard speaker when I plugged in a headphone jack. And I decided to go with the latter, stripping the wires, carefully stripping the wires so as not to pull on the speaker leads. Also stripping the ends of some extra wire so I can have enough length to get the headphone jack out of the housing. Soldering the ends of the connector soldering the ends on the speaker soldering the wire onto the leads soldering the other wire here I'm using yellow just to differentiate the line in and the line out more soldering Cutting some electrical tape as shielding, wrapping the electrical tape around the solder joints, cutting off the unnecessary end, drilling the hole for the wires to go out, tying a knot so that there's no way that the wires can get yanked out of the speaker or the circuit board, connecting the connector putting everything back in place, screwing the speaker back down. This way, with the wires outside, I can be more free to do whatever I want with them. And I'll be able to, in the future, also take it apart easily because the screws will be easily accessible without having to remove the adhesive holding the orange rubber thing on the bottom. Just pulling the wires out, making sure they aren't kinked or pushing on anything wrong. Rescrewing everything in place. Now stripping all the wires. T 
maintaining the ends, soldering on my headphone jack so that the leads go into the headphone jack and then when a headphone jack is not connected to something it will go through to the speaker. Next I just went to Thingiverse and I found this nice wall mount for the Google Home and I designed this headphone jack spot and just modified that. Now just printing it on my TiVo Tarantula. And it looks like it printed nicely. So now just assembling everything, getting the headphone jack in place, screwing it tight, now just feeding the wires into the little hole I had made for them. Here's what it looks like. And now, bonus, it's also wall mountable. And now, for what it sounds like. Hey Google, tell me a joke. One joke coming up. Why did the cookie go to the hospital? Because it felt crummy. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe.